Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, this is Moon Slayer. I'm here to do a video about the full moon in Sagittarius. It is called the Strawberry Moon, okay? Before we get started, I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to I'm 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 show y'all what a strawberry means spiritually. Okay, strawberries mean spiritually the delicate heart shaped berry has always connoted purity passion and healing it has been used in stories literature and paintings through the ages what do strawberries mean biblically same thing strawberries have been associated with goodness and purity in Christ christian history the strawberry was once a symbol of the virgin mary in paintings of Mary, many artists use strawberries in the detail of the picture or as a border. Um, what does it mean in relationship? The strawberry reportedly used as a relationship status to mean can't find Mr. or Mrs. Wright on Snapchat. Okay, do strawberry have a secret meaning? Um, if you participate in friends that are hosted on different social media platforms like TikTok or Instagram, you might stumble on a friend called the Strawberry Challenge, where people lose a strawberry as a secret code to tell someone they are besties, okay? They also called it the devil fruit. Picking and spraying strawberries is hard and crucial work, which reveals why one workers called the strawberry la fruta de diabola the devil's fruit in freaking contact with toxic parasites farm workers constantly bend forward in order to pick berries um it means um the history of strawberry dates back to the ancient Roman where the fruit was considered the symbol of Venus the goodness of love I mean the goddess of love because of a bright red color and enticing taste, later the berry became a symbol of fertility due to its many historic seeds and last one. Um, um, if you pick a strawberry, you are an extrovert and love to enjoy the beauty of life. You love yourself and care a lot about the appearance. You act quickly and may have a bit of temper in your action. Although you're not so well organized, you may still be a good team leader. Okay, so let's begin. You can't hide from this full moon, okay? Full moons are a time for releasing and relinquishing. If you have an excess in your life, this is the time for it to go down the drain. Through silent meditation, exchanging of thoughts, or spiritual practice, full moons are a point when we can let go. June's full moon in Sagittarius and a astrological hint to reminisce about how much you own. Following Western astrology, these new and complete moon guides are monthly reminders to sit and review your intentions. Your horoscope is a redemptory prompt for self-reflection. If you stop it, it is what it is or you living in your truth, especially when you have a name what it is. The beautiful thing about our bodies, skin, muscles, bones, and brains is that they tell a story. You reflect your narrative even when you neglected to recognize how a bruise, a bump, scrap, scratch, ship, or ache appears on your body. Be careful about romanticizing hurt. On June the 3rd, 2023, 11.40 p.m. tonight, the full moon in Sagittarius shed light lights on emotional truth be cautious of over inter intellectualization laughing away your pain and distancing yourself from your emotions acknowledging what you sense and accepting what's beyond your scope of awareness is the first step to being present in your body how does what you see touch taste smell and hear inform your emotions what memories are brought up by the sense of a former lover or seeing a text from an ex friend? The full moon in Sagittarius will oppose the sun in Gemini. You can only prevent so many miscommunications, misunderstandings, and missed opportunities. 
The key to maturity is managing your emotions and words gracefully and with compassion. Remember, if you are a candle in your energetic band with is a wick, try to ensure your, you your burn the wick on one end. You might be able to set fire to both sides, but what's the cost gain ratio? Nicknamed the Strawberry Moon, the last full moon of spring this year occurs on June the 3rd. Astrologists consider full moons a time of reckoning. Reckoning. As the moon's glow illuminates situations and exposes secrets, being that the full moon is in truth seeking and philosophical Sagittarius, we can expect these sentiments to be heightened. Since fiery Sagittarius is positioned as the protector of the galaxy, the constellation is found at the entrance of the Milky Way and is the only astrological sign armed with a ribbon, a bow and arrow. Defensiveness and passions may arise in an effort to protect others and ourselves, but only if our sense of freedom and anatomy is threatened. Gotta shine a message about that. We may be dealing with friendly com- completion, even though winning isn't the object with Sagittarian energy, it is an attempt, it's an attempt to have a, spir- a, a spirited debate. The, philo- the, ph- the philosophical Sagittarius moon likes to get on their stoke box and, di- and dictate their views, oh, which, watch my channel messages, which sometimes leads to them putting their foot in their mouths. Try not to get too mad and be understanding if that happened to you. If that happens to you, after Luna, Sagittarius energy even malicious, just a bit careless at times. Here's how to see June 2023 full moon. The strawberry full moon in Sagittarius ripens on June the 3rd at 11:42 p.m. Eastern time, and will appear full for about three days. Okay, I'm gonna be you're gonna be busy with work because the zombie accomplish is happening tonight. Each full moon tastes on the flavor of the cosmic happenings occurring at that time. This full moon in Sagittarius aspects both action oriented Mars and authoritative Saturn. When all of the planets connect, we may feel as if our efforts to move forward or restricted. The lesson to be learned here is that we have to do the work and take the necessary steps in order for the universe to reward us for our efforts. There are no shortcuts in life. The Sagittarius full moon can bring us luck, but only if we are living our most authentic lives. If you put the time and energy into projects and relationships, this is a moment of celebration. Sitting across from Gemini in astrology is Sagittarius. The Zodiac's a great explorer, armed with his bow and arrow, plus his insatiable thirst for knowledge, the content will sprint in any direction, as long as it ends in a venture. The saying go big, the saying, go big or go home, was probably invented by a Sagittarius, and any transit through the fire sign is getting some major amplification especially June 2023, full moon in Sagittarius. Full moons can often become somatic hot beds, and Sagittarius full moons can level up the intensity. Sagittarius ruled by Jupiter, the benevolent magnifying glass of the cosmos. Jupiter's involvement means luck and beauty, and on the flip side can bring about a case of cocky exaggeration. Right now, Jupiter is at the start of its year long transit in Taurus. The fixed earth sign that loves beautiful things and taking it slow. The bull hates to be rushed. Ask any Taurus in your life to confirm this absolute truth. And is looking to build something stable that will last. Jupiter's transit through Taurus, yes I did. Considing with a Jupiter ward full moon in Sagittarius, buoyant, abyss, overbearing, and worse. With, with Sagittarius, it's always a straddling the line between having fun and overdoing it. 
the cautionary hazards of being the life of the party. June 2023's full moon lunation, however, includes a square aspect or point of conflict to Saturn in Pisces and the zodiac's father figure, the mean partial, who obsessively rules and boundaries. Think of the square abs- aspect as a reminder to not get wrapped up in the splendor of the full moon. It is possible to go big without going overboard. June 2023 full moon in Sagittarius can breathe can be a breath of fresh air. First of all, it's not an eclipse, and thank God for that. But it's bold, dynamic energy is tied to an eclipse in a loose way. Its ruler, Jupiter, will be conjunct to the North Node, one of the two locations where eclipse go down. So there's gonna be two zombie apostles. The North Node is a place of desire hunger and it is most negative greed. The story of this full moon in Sagittarius is not to ignore or damage the abundance. Any Sagittarius can tell you that life is about living. Instead, it's time to enjoy life to its full while taking stock of our desires. Can rigorous moral inventory help you see your weak spots more clearly? What splendors await when you're not getting carried away? The full moon in Sagittarius occurs on June the 3rd, 11.42 p.m. For more information on how the full moon in Sagittarius will affect you personally, read for your rising sign for June 2023 horoscope. So, this is your horoscopes for this full moon in Sagittarius. If y'all had Aries in where you got shot, it could be for you. Aries, you are only as wise as your willingness to be wrong. This full moon is illuminating the sector of your life pertaining to higher knowledge. The lessons you picked up post high school, the flop error in your 20s, and the reflections of Maya during your 30s. In order for you to fully appreciate your growth, you must be able to demonstrate awareness of what you got wrong. Okay, if y'all have toilets in the way and y'all short, it could be for you. Taurus, what do you do when you are facing a dead end? Breakups are sometimes the natural course of events. When developing friendships, partnerships, and romantic relationships, you can always benefit from knowing the people around you vibe with your special personal synergy. When you sense relationship primarily live on an island just for two, that may be a red flag. How can a relationship live in isolation? This for you, Gemini. I think y'all have this in a way in y'all short. Gemini, love requires the wants and possibly need to have more of the subject of your affection. Think about how a person motivates you. What parts of your inner child do they bring out? Do they make you feel as live as your younger self would feel while kicking up at the sky? Or do they de-render your globe through mean words and ill intentions? Do you want to revisit feelings or would you like to create new sensations? If y'all have cancerians in a way and y'all short, it could be for you. Cancer, what memories are you creating based on the life you lead? I lack the ability to create a mental image of you, your quality of life. Whether you live in your life to the fullest or upset by the system of capitalism, you deserve to have moments of joy. Some of you may be overdoing yourselves, basing too much of your self sacrification on egoistic indulgence. Try embracing simple things. If y'all have Leos in a way, and y'all sure it could be for you. Leo, this for me. Leo, you are motivated by fun. What do you enjoy? You need to feel alive in order to take action. If there is no fun in your work, you will lose interest, and thus the quality of your efforts will decrease. Find the thing that brings fire to your heart and encourages you to create. What breathes life into you? Okay, if you have Virgos in a way, in your short, it could be for you. Virgo, a craving for for novelty is worth sacrificing without reason. If you feel as though you need a certain something, no, solve for X. No, that doesn't mean to show X. 
please stop listening to wishes on TikTok who tell you your ex is fantasizing about you. Instead, feast yourself with something that living up your space. You deserve a little boost. If you have a Libra anywhere in your chart, it could be for you. Libra, your inner wisdom is informed by your inner child. At least during this full moon, there's a lot of wisdom you can gain from reflecting back on our childhood. What values do you hold and how do you interact with those around you? Once you are clear on what you care about, direct your will towards manifesting your goals. You will always find purpose when you develop your self-esteem. If you have Scorpios in your chart, it could be for you. Scorpio, what do you prove to yourself when you splurge on an item? You get more out of that manicure if you are mindful of what you wish to communicate. Or you profane seduction, romance, joy, or naturality for the next two weeks. Vitality is a gift, so be careful about pigging holding yourself. As long as you trust the process, all endings lead to new beginnings. If y'all have Sagittarius in y'all show, it could be for you. This is y'all full moon. Sagittarius, maybe it's about you and not the relationship. When you get out of your comfort zone and travel, it becomes easier to understand what's going on. Whether you want to the next town over or in or on an overseas adventure, you can take time to spot the difference. Between your normal and someone else's common sense, don't worry too much about being judgmental. Let the domino fall and respond with prudence. If y'all have Capricorns anywhere in y'all short, it could be for you. Capricorn, there's a lot to gain from stillness. There's no need to get lost in loads of work or preoccupy yourself with hobbies. Allow time for stillness, silence, and amelioration. As projects from to an end and conclusions approach, this full moon is a great time to pause and take stock. When you allow space, the answers you're looking for have the opportunity to be discovered. 17, 17, so 88, 16, 7. Okay, this is for you, Aquarius. So y'all have this in a way and y'all sure it's for y'all. Aquarius, bridging connections require listening and responding as opposed to waiting to talk. You will find many more relationships by showing a willingness to listen to the ideas of others. Allow them to brag about their experiences and appreciate their memories. You'll be pleasantly surprised when you learn how many interesting, I mean, how many intersecting interests it takes to inspire a meaningful collaboration. Pisces, if y'all have this anyway in y'all short, it could be for you. Pisces, you have worked tirelessly for all the acclaim you receive. It goes without saying, your existence is invaluable. How you choose to fill in moments of stillness with activities, crafts, and spontaneity is entirely up to you. Make sure you make time to be seen and appreciated. All the work you do behind the scenes deserves recognition. Okay, so hopefully y'all enjoy. I'm out. Peace. I got some wish tips and horoscopes for y'all. Okay, I'm out. Peace.